Hello there ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now today's episode, actually I've not been to this cider company for quite a while. The last one I did was their vintage cider and that was going way back when. So it's about time I revisited the Sheppy Cider Company to try out another one of their drinks. And this time it's their Oakwood Cider. So what will I make of this one? We will, as usual, find out shortly, but until then, let me go and give you the lowdown on Sheppy's Oakwood Cider. Sheppy's Oakwood Cider is available in these 500ml glass bottles, which I do believe at the time of this recording is the only way you can buy it as well. The alcohol percent is an average 4.8% really, so quite a low ABV cider we have here. Um, on the website it says it's going to be a medium tasting cider, and the price is pretty average for um, this type of cider. You can get it only in a mixed case, or um, a case of 6 or 12, but if you do it costs around about £2.9 per bottle, which to be honest is not that bad of value for money really. So from what I can gather from the um, Sheppy's website, this cider is supposed to pretty much taste like a vintage cider, but it has the low ABV strength of um, a typical average cider, so we'll see how that actually works out. But uh, it says a light blend of the finest cider apples on the front, um, not much else, but I do like a uh, nice old rural rustic design they have on the front there, very nice touch. On the back, there's actually quite a bit of gumph, so let's go and have a read. The Sheppy family has been farmer cider makers since the early 1800s, producing ciders of quality and character. The skill and craftsmanship which produce Sheppy ciders remain unchanged over generations, although modern technology helps with some of the hard work, <laughs> naturally. Homegrown and locally sourced apples guarantee the quality of the blend and ensure that you get a drink to be savoured. The well-balanced medium taste of Oakwood Cider is created from a blend of traditional cider apples with a little added sparkle. So sit down and drink in the rural beauty, the history and the craft of six generations of cider makers. Best served lightly chilled and that's pretty... No artificial flavours or colours contain sulphites for freshness. So nothing out of the ordinary here and as usual Sheppy's is a real, real cider maker so none of this nasty sugary crap I'm gonna get from this one so let's waste no more time crack this bottle top off and see what I make of it just for all you um, cap collectors out there I do like the little um, cap on there very nice design and uh, one that you could probably add to your collection anyway let's go and get in for the whiff test Oh yeah, that really does. Cool, yeah, that does smell like a vintage. Wow, I don't know how they've done that, but it's got some really deep, dry, tannic notes on the nose. And yeah, it really does just smell like a very nice, real vintage cider. Lots of robust um, flavours on the nose, or should I say scents on the nose. Yeah, very surprising. So let's go and pour this out and see uh, if I can get any more smells off it. But, uh, well, so far, colour me surprised. Let's get this all poured out then. There we go. Let's go in for the colour of Sheppy's Oakwood. And to be honest, it really does not look like a vintage cider. It looks, um, well, Extremely light in colour, lightly sparkling. Um, yeah, again, I'd say it's probably like a light straw colour, wouldn't you say? But um, pretty filtered. I mean, most um, sizes you get are filtered anyway, but all in all, that really does look quite nice. So, do I get any more smells on the glass? No, not really, but again, it is still smelling like a real proper vintage cider. It smells strong as well. It smells like it should be more like a 7 8% rather than 4.8. So I'm very intrigued to see how this is actually going to taste. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Cheers, guys, and here's to the guys at Sheppy's as well with their Oakwood Cider. Mmm. Mmm, that tastes really good. Mmm. Doesn't quite taste like a vintage. It's got all the, um, like the notes on the nose with the vintage, but it doesn't taste like a vintage. Let's just get in for a second opinion. Mmm. 
Mm. Okay, well straight away you're getting um, hit with these really light fruity apple notes on the taste. Very, um, kind of almost like floral in its taste as well. And then there's it's kind of, um, like allowed to rest on your taste buds. You're getting really nice citrusy sort of notes um, on the taste too. And the aftertaste is uh, a little bit on the dry side, but um, it has got a nice little touch of sweetness as well, which obviously, um, you know, medium ciders should have like a nice thin, you know, a nice balance between the two. Um, let's get in for another one. Hmm. There's a slight touch of acidity on the initial taste as well. You're getting that just as um, it enters your taste buds. But then um, as it goes down, it kind of like mellows out and uh, you get a nice little hint of tannin as it's going um, down your throat as well. So it kind of like culminates all the different sort of tastes that you get from all these different ciders and kind of mixes it in and does like create quite a well-balanced and very nice tasting cider actually. The only downside that I'm finding so far is that the tastes aren't really holding out too much. Sometimes, you know, you get left with a nice uh, little um, finish on the on the taste and everything. But to be honest, I'm not really getting much from that. I am getting a very nice dry finish though, so that's uh, one thing. Very um, light in texture as well. It's a very easy drinking side of this. It's not one that... Um, you know, if you were if you were expecting like a full-bodied vintage tasting cider, then um, you're not going to get that here. So if you do like a real hard-hitting ciders, then maybe this isn't the one for you. But I can see this catering to quite a lot of people because it has a lot of complex flavours to it. But it's also light in ABV and it's also very easy to drink as well. So I can see this appealing to quite a lot of people actually. So let's go in for a final taste before the final verdict, shall we? Hmm. Now I know the danger with medium ciders is sometimes you can go too far on one end of the scale. It's either going to be too dry or it's going to be too sweet. Invariably most medium ciders are too sweet. But this one does seem to balance everything just right and gives, um, as I said, a light sweet start to it and then finishes off with a nice little dry finish along with all those um, different tasting notes that I said at the start. And yeah, you've got a very decent little cider here, and for £2.9, it's actually uh, one of the cheaper, like, real ciders you can get. You know, most of them are like 2 40 if not more. So, you're definitely getting your money's worth with this cider. So, for a final verdict, Sheppy's Oakwood Cider is going to get an 8 out of 10 from me. It's not, I don't think it's quite as good as their vintage cider. I absolutely loved that one, but my goodness me, it's not far off from it. So, although I've only had those two, these are two drinks from the Sheppies Company, I'm hope, well, really looking forward to actually finding more of them to try, because I can tell they're a damn good company, that's for sure. So, there we go, another episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. Hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, well, I think you know the drill by now. I'm going to go and finish this glass of Sheppy's Oakwood Cider off. So, take care, guys. Until next time.